Welcome to the Logoscope informational video. Logoscope is a new revolutionary video editing software that is changing the way we edit videos. The editing starts with just one click and the data can be shared with anyone. Logoscope differs with other video editing software because Logoscope uses an infinite plane as the editing environment. And Logoscope is equipped with high speed, high quality editing like never before. The users do not have to wait for rendering as well. And with one easy click, you can make high quality HD videos. Now I'd like to explain the very detailed zooming features and the basic operations on how to use Logoscope. Now all you do is you select the files that you want to use in Logoscope from any folder you have in your computer and drag and drop them into Logoscope. And once you drag and drop them into Logoscope, the files will appear as thumbnails. And now you're ready to start your project. When the cursor goes on a video clip, the video clip starts to play. When the cursor goes on a video clip, the video clip starts to play. When you click on a thumbnail, the screen will automatically zoom into the selected thumbnail and focus on the selected clip. Logoscope is programmed to zoom into anything that you click on. Also, by double clicking on the thumbnail, the screen will zoom in so that the clip becomes full screen. Double clicking again takes the screen back into the original zoom screen. When you click the floor of Loyloscope, the screen will adjust so that the user can see all of the thumbnails. If your mouse that you are using has a wheel, turning that wheel up makes the screen zoom in and turning the wheel down makes the screen zoom out. By using this feature, the user can look at any clip in detail. Also, the thumbnails can be put anywhere within the infinite plane environment. You can grab any clip by left clicking and holding the left click while you move the clip to any place of your choice. Even if you can't see a clip in your current view, clicking the floor of Loyloscope will allow you to see all of the clips. Slide the floor and find the picture that you want to see. Next, let's select a clip that you like to edit and copy, and let's copy that video. After you select the clip that you like to edit, click that clip, and you go to the editing view. And the editing controller will appear as well. This bar right here is the editing controller. Firstly, use the seek bar to find the part of the video that you want to edit. Also, the in and out buttons on the ends of this blue bar show the beginning and end of the clip that will be played. Therefore, let's move this in and out button to where we want the video to start and to where we want it to end. If you want to edit the video in great detail, please use the pause button, the rewind button, the fast forward button, 
And holding the fast forward and rewind buttons down allows for slow rewinding and fast forwarding. And this in button determines the start and this out button determines the end. If you found a part of the video that you like and you want to copy, please use the copy button. You can choose any part that you like to copy and you could copy as much as you like. Let's organize the clips by throwing them. Let's throw the same kind of clips in the same place. If you think you sorted through your clips, let's organize and group them with the magnet. To use the magnet, click on the home button and click the heart shaped magnet button. Of course you can put out as many magnets as you like. You can change the name and color of the magnet as you please. If you take the magnet close to the clips that you want to group together, the clips get sucked towards the magnet. The magnet possesses magnetic fields, so it sucks the clips to it. You can also throw clips at the magnet and organize your clips. It's easy, right? Click on the magnet to zoom to the magnet. If you pull the arrow mark, the clips get organized horizontally. You could change the order of the clips, and you could add clips as well. There's an even easier way to organize your clips. That's the shortcut magnet. Just select the clip that you want to organize or sort, and right click on the clip. And hold the right click, and then the shortcut magnet will appear. Right click on the clip that you want to sort, and then a shortcut magnet will come out. Put your cursor on the heart mark magnet that you want to send your clip to, and just let go of the right click on the magnet. And the clip will be sent directly to that magnet. You can do the same thing for all the clips in one magnet as well. Just right click on one magnet and you can send all the clips that are in that magnet to another magnet. Also one of the shortcut magnets in the shortcut magnet area is the trash can magnet. This trash can magnet is for any other clips that you want to throw away. Please put the clips that you want to throw away in the trash can magnet. And by clicking on the trash can icon, you could empty your trash. Next, let's put some effects on the clips. The effects are really fast. Please choose a clip that you want to put an effect on and click the effect menu. By clicking on the effect menu, effect icons will appear. You can preview the effect when the cursor goes on the effect icon. Because you can see the effect instantly, you can decide on the spot if you want to use that effect or not. After you have chosen an effect that you want to use, please select it by left clicking.